after a long fought victory. Something that they nearly died doing. Everybody has come back together. It's very dark aftermath with Vandal covered in blood laying next to Hendrick trying to collect himself after what a man had put into his mind. Hendrick nearly at death's door laying there. Only to be saved by Vandal when he came to. And there's Claudius who hardly made it through. Then he fell against the wall. He'd been knocked down three times. And each time he kept trying to get back up. He was one of the strongest living survivors. Rick ended up trying to protect himself and save everyone. But it was too far gone by that time. At the very front of the train we have Oscar who lost both of his legs as the train cars crushed them. And now they are all here after the defeat and survival that they had. Wondering where they intend to go now. But with the train stopped due to the vampiric threat being contained, where will they go? What will happen? Let's find out. Okay, so... I will say, Rick, you are first up. You watched what happened. You saw them all get blasted off. And um, for a moment, you tried to see past what was all happening like as they fell. And you finally saw that Vandal like, got up and then pressed his hand to Hendrick's chest before the, both of them just laying on their back, defeated. Uh, is it hard if I attempt? jump off the train oh you're able to well i mean obviously i can jump off the train but yeah attempt to like jump and roll yeah um tuck and roll buddy tuck and roll when you yeah. do that when you do that um you see crawl like use his ghostly hand as you're jumping to kind of like glide down the side of it oh yeah that's right there with the door. Yeah. and he, he just grips on just down the wall as you land you can do it without a athletics check. I'm trying to figure out where I am real fast. Um, you are... Hanging. Yeah, it's like 6th car, 7th car. Found it. Ah. <laughs> yeah, with no help from us. Good job. <laughs> with, with no help from you guys. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. You fine. saw them. Yeah, they. You saw them fall, and then they like rolled while the train kept moving, and you had to take a grip as it was coming to a complete stop. And then you, as you jump down, you finally can see that they're they're a ways down, but you can get to them. Yeah, go ahead. Um, actually, go to like this car right here, like the one with Claudius. All right, I can do that. So as you're uh, walking by this one, you actually see Claudius like walking, and he looks very, almost drunk as he just falls and he leans up against the wall. His body is not going anywhere. The train is still stopping, right? Uh, it's or stopped. It's now. fully stopped now. Um, but yeah, you just see him like. A little woozy, then he sits down, and you notice that he is full of holes, and he's contained it the most he can, but he is beaten to hell, just like everybody else. <laughs> I didn't see it, but that boy Oscar lost his seat. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm pretty sure there will be a mind link in the future. <laughs> just help me. <laughs> Carry me, please. So, Alright. Yeah, now you can go. Character, my character would be most confused about as to why uh, Quentin or uh, Vandal and uh, Hendrick were trying to kill each other. So, no. he, is, he is concerned about uh, Claudius, but before I go, 
He can tell that Claudius isn't dead, right? Like, he can yeah. tell that Claudius no. isn't dead. He's, like, at that point where after a big battle, he's trying to pull out a cigarette, but he can't light it, you know? So he just sits there trying to do it for a while. But he's not going to die immediately. No. He looks like he's got himself very well sated, but he's not... He's not in good shape either, though. And you also see the mutilated bodies of the barkeep and the yeah. uh, peacekeeper. All the different bodies as I pass. Them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Who the fuck did that? <laughs> as you come up, you just see them both laying on their backs. Like, Hendrick looks like he's knocked unconscious, but you do see, like, the faint breathing. Uh, Vandal, your choice on whether or not you are completely knocked out if you're just laying there, eyes open. Probably just laying there completely unable to move. And you do notice that he is covered in blood head to toe. And, uh, his eyes are, look like they're bloodshot all the way into the, like, center. Almost like a faint red glow. If I pick them up, neither... No, but uh, Hendrick looks like he could use some healing. I don't have any healing. You do. Oh yeah, you're right. I have healing. Come on, I can do that. Hold on, I gotta open up. My time to shine, baby. And remember, both of you get half healing off that. Oh no! Well, we should both get one uh, D. Everyone around me. Yeah, they they have magical corruption. They only get half health. Oh fuck. Yeah, they are it's better than nothing. Yeah, exactly. Especially with a zero hit point. So half of fourteen, you guys get seven. I'm not arguing with that. You see like Hendrick's breath kinda getting a little bit better, but he's not waking up yet. He's just dumb though. Too much damage. Hedrick is uh, still unable to wake. You know, I have a, I have a lock of uh, Oscar's hair. I'm going to stick it underneath um, Hendrick's nose. Maybe it'll wake him up. <laughs> know what? Go ahead and roll a slight hand. Let's see if he wakes up. <laughs> oh my lord. How did you get my hair in the first he place? Had... <laughs> Hendrick, he's tickling the hell out of your nose. Uh, you With can. Oscar's hair. Yeah, yeah. He, he How did, did you get... share the same room? Yeah, he he went to your bed and he grabbed some of it. Yeah, but you he were asleep long. Awake. There was never a. Hold on, hold on. Are you trying to force Hendrick awake by tickling his nose? Oh, I'm just, I'm just, just checking to see because I need somebody to give me answers. And I know how much you love Oscar. So I'm using his hand to stick in your nose. Oh my lord. So. Chance for a shower? Unfortunately for you, I'd say that the uh, Hendrick is still hey, that sleeping. Might, for what it's uh, for what it's worth, you might not wake up, but you're gonna you're gonna sneeze one hell of a sneeze. Oh, dude, no, that's no, gonna be the no, most no, painful no, wait, sneeze. No, no, the constitution thing is not for him, you know, trying to not wake up. That's for uh, um, that's for the fact that uh, you should notice that there is uh, that the uh, his that his chest is like. Not moving properly right now, as if it's kind of a little, uh, as if pressure was on his chest. Yeah. Uh, you see that the the movements of Hendrick's chest starting to spasm a bit as you continue to try to tickle him. I'm gonna lift up his shirt to see if there's any. Uh... <laughs> First, I'm gonna whisper to the lock of Oscar's hair. I'm gonna do you proud, buddy. And I'm gonna lift up his shirt to check and see. Okay, so also full of holes. <laughs> Wait, did you didn't shoot him? No, you did shoot him. Did you shoot him? No, I stabbed him. Yeah, he has some 
powerful puncture wounds. But also, it's like heavily bruised, like from head to toe on his front side. Yeah, very, very bruised. Yeah, as if he was hard pressed onto something. Like he slammed extremely hard into something. Multiple times. Multiple times, sadly. And that's not all vegetal, sadly. Who are you talking to? I'm just the guy with uh, bruise marks all over him. Mm. He's still sleeping. Uh, I'm the character, I know what he did. You know, I don't know who had it worse right now. Like, who looks worse? Vandal literally head to toe in blood, or the major bruising along the front of Hendrick? I mean, I mean, I probably got some kind of wounds, but not nearly as much as the other two. I'm gonna oh, walk God, over no. here, and I think I have a fart building up. Oh no, my lord. The classic, you should see the other guys. <laughs> Bro I broke his hand with my face. Okay. Let's do a uh, constitution roll. Just flat. What are you trying to do to me? He's trying to fart. Yeah. Alright, you don't, you don't shoot yourself, but it's like little... Oh. Why are you doing this on me? My base got try and, constitution. Try and get you to talk. Yeah, I'm trying to wake one of you guys up. I was... Am I, am I awake? Or yeah, it? you're awake. You are awake. And you just see him, like, getting well, red. I already asked if I could get a shower. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you said that. <laughs> or you might have been drowned out, but I don't know. Anyways. Yeah. But yeah, a shower would be really nice. Are there even showers on this thing? What happened? No, there are only sinks. Why were you and Hendrick trying to kill each other? Me? I would never harm him. <laughs> I'm not doing that right. I'm not doing that right at all. What? I would never harm him. No. I'm gonna pick them both up. Dude, you guys are in excruciating pain, but he does lift you up. Uh, if you would, I. You hear Hedrick moaning in pain while what? when you pick him up. You know, um, I'm gonna laugh and rip. I'm not gonna fight it, but it hurts. Oh wait, it should take me to the sink. <laughs> hold on a second. In New Vegas, Old World Blues DLC. Uh, I'm still saying I don't think they're cats. Alright, All right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take him over to Claudius. Alright, I'll fast travel you there. Then Crawl ends up, like, helping you lift them Claudius? pretty well. Why are you taking me to Claudius? I need a shower! <laughs> or a sink! Because I saw Claudius, and I need... Yeah, you don't know where he's taking you, he just is walking you. As you enter the train, you see Claudius, Claudius, you look up hardly. You're more fucked up than both of them. Uh, do you set them both down? Yeah, right next to Claudia. And the kid behind me, right? I saw him coming. No, you don't even see him. Right. Like, he is literally... Well, yeah, you'd see him now. You're, you're pretty tall, so you'd see him. He's, like, still shaking in fear. He's not moving. Boy, what happened? He's unresponsive. He said he's shaking, right? Yeah, no, he is. Do they have a diplomacy check? Yeah, so Hendra, uh, not Hendrick, uh, Claudius, you do see them getting set down next to you. Vandal covered head to toe in blood, bruises on fucking Hendrick from head to toe, you covered in holes. Y'all look pretty bad. <laughs> At this moment, Rick hears the voice of Oscar mindling to him. Rick! Oh. Your legs don't work! Oh. Your topaz kitty needs help! Oh my god. 
Rick, as well, you, uh, a little bit of damage, but it took me a lot longer to move, uh, two thousand feet than, uh, it did, Hendrick. Hendrick got more fucked up by it though. <laughs> um, by the way, when you are going through these cars, it's just blood stain after blood stain, countless bodies. Yeah, and not all of it. I mean, out of character, I know not all of it is uh, uh, Vandal. And All of that was Vandal. Uh, right up until about... It's right here. He, it stops right here, like, as some of the workers, like, ended up scattering. And you all showed up at the same time, because he was up on the roof on this one. Yeah. But yeah, no, completely, just all carnage. Um, let's... Any of you have anything to say while you're sitting there, though? I kind of, have, I kind of have a feeling that Claudius just wants to attempt to make a punch check <laughs> at Vandal. Nope. <laughs> just not even. <laughs> not even gonna try. It. How you doing, Claudius? Killed me three times, so <laughs> you tell me. Is it really even killing at that point? You know, it was pretty close. To be fair, you tried to kill me too. Yeah, well, you ate people, so mm. I don't think anyone's really eaten here. Pretty much, pretty, pretty much ate. Well, how do you even know that was me? Why don't you ask the child behind the bar? Oh, we believe children now. Both of you make con saves. Disadvantage. Yeah, I'll just roll it at normal and fail and uh, be fine with it. Both of you immediately just lock up, like, when you're getting riled up. You... Need, uh, it was a bad, bad time. Yeah, you should do it again anyways, because you can always critically fail. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if you can critically fail this. I want to see it. Let's see you critically fail. Yeah, Where's Rick? Off. I'm walking because they're still doing roleplay over there. Oh, there you are. So, both of you, like, lock up and... Like, you literally feel the pain from the very top of your head all the way to your toes. Like, you all, like, it hurts so bad that you start grinding your teeth a little bit just from trying to not see the pain. Hendrick, though, you're fine. You're doing good. You're, you're hurting, but you're doing better. Yep. <laughs> just... <laughs> not enough healing to come back. So does he look about, like, Deadpool right now with little baby legs? His, his legs are full, but they're still just so fresh and new. So, you start walking along the edge here, because that, remember, that is a hole in the train. Well, the, the ground wouldn't have a hole in it, but the train would. Yeah. And since the train stopped, it would make it higher. Okay. Yeah. So as no. you come up, you see him just... He's like sitting <laughs> down and I'm basically on eye level with him right now. Because I'm standing in the hole where the train is. <laughs> do you need do you need a lift? Oh Paz kitty. I lost my boots, meow. I need a lift. Alright, alright. I'll pick you up. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick him up, and then we're gonna head back. I need you to heal, uh, Hendrick. Okay. Can you fast drop us? Uh, you three hear the sound of the kid and go climb over, and then just a run as he heads out of the car. Can I 
not speak or no? You can. Can I look at Fatal? After they're done talking, you can uh, fast travel over. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Out of character, we're still in the jungle, aren't we? Yes. Okay. Just me just just making sure. I'm gonna look at Vandal. That kid saw everything you did. We have to stop here. Uh, Rick. Where are we? I'm in the, the car with the uh, prison guard. Vandal. Alright. <laughs> I've got you I've got you thrown over my shoulder so your face is looking at the prison guard. If I didn't save that kid, he would have died a long time before this. Yeah, well there's a bigger problem than that. And what's that? He saw what you did. Well, either A, we go and save the kid, or B, the jungle takes him. I mean, it's on him. I can't go out there. You can go out there. <laughs> a couple hours, maybe. I don't think you're going out there in a couple hours, buddy. Oh, if we do this, like, ball It's not good for my injuries, but I'll... Can't just let the kid die out there. If we do this like Baldur's Gate, it'll only take us 16 hours to fully deal with all of our spell slots. I'm just wondering if that kid's no, gonna tell anybody not. what you did. There's no one out here in the jungle. There's Bant here who doesn't know what you did. And he ran into the jungle. So, Oscar, are you sending a telegram? Is that what you were wanting to do? Yeah, I was gonna send a telegram to Bant. <laughs> that said, uh, threat neutralized. That's it. Alright. So, he's actually going to send it to, uh, the bartender and to Bant. So, you three, you can go ahead and start walking again, I guess. Um, you three here, just the telegraph going off. As you're talking. Alright, well, I have the codes and everything else, so... I can walk, you said? You can, very slowly, but yeah. I'm gonna hobble my way as best I can over to wherever it is. Yeah, it's like right behind. Type the message that there is a lone child lost in the jungle and someone should help him. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Alright. As we get to this last car, I'll tell Rick that he can put me down. <laughs> let wow. me have some, let me have some dignity, walking into these people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold him so that his legs are just barely touching the ground. Then I'm gonna let him go, and see uh. if his legs collapse under his weight. <laughs> uh, make a deck save. Oh, is it a deck save? Yeah. Yep. I'll make a sleight of hand. You are uh, okay. You do stand. He like holds your shoulder while you're about to fall and you lift yourself up. Easy peasy. <laughs> I'm gonna give him the uh the blue ass or green ass or what is his like blue ass pair of boots, I guess. Yeah, blue ass pair of boots. <laughs> you better name it that in your fucking inventory when I give him Blue-ass pair of boots. So, as... I have my basilisk boots in my inventory. As you are finishing head. up your telegraph, they are entering. I need you to heal Hendrix so that we can, uh, get this sorted out. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna plop down in near the, the completely desecrated body. Yeah, and then I'm gonna use that on Hendrik. Yeah, Oscar, this is the very first time you're seeing all the mutilated bodies as you're coming through. Yeah, it's fine. I you're not afraid. Yeah. It's just like, oh fuck. You know? Okay, but I'm gonna use lesser restoration on Hendrik and see if that works. And then I'm gonna use cure wounds. 
So Lester doesn't seem like it did anything, but the cure wounds definitely will heal him. Uh, heal six. Hendrix's body shudders as it accepts the healing, but you can still see that the bru that many many bruises are still there, and Hendrick doesn't seem to wake up at this time. Do Claudius next? Maybe he can tell us what happened. <laughs> I'm all out of spell slots. You just oh, wait, see I him turn a little bit more away. pale. Yeah, you can copy it completely. Six, I... six uh, to you as well, Claudius. So and three. Like restoration. No, you get six. Um, oh, okay. No, oh, just do the cure wounds. Can I roll hit dice? No, no. not yet. Uh uh. So you feel a little bit better. Uh, Vandal, what are you doing over there? After you send your message? Just gonna let out a sigh and lean against the wall. Like, you move a crate out of the way and you kind of sit up on there as you're leaning against it. Can you tell me why uh, Hendrick and Vandal were trying to kill each other? And why uh -huh. there's so many bullet holes in everybody? Well... Yeah, so my bullet holes are from him. As, I, as Claudius points at Vandal. So this man decided that he was gonna start ripping people in half and basically not eating them, but yeah, just. It, it, <laughs> you know what's funny? Claudius is really out of it right now, okay? Like, you know what's funny to me? Like, the entirety of. Like, it. <laughs> yeah, he just started doing this, man. Here's the truth. No, no homie code where you're like, I don't know what happened, <laughs> but no. <laughs> well, he asked. Yeah, yeah. So, he's really woozy, and... Um, Vandal, are you going to say anything? Oh, wait, why are you, why are you doing insight? Because <laughs> he's trying to see if Claudius isn't lying. Say anything yet? I mean, he hasn't asked me what happened. Okay. I then earlier. you do believe you do believe uh, Claudius. I don't. I don't fully know what happened. So I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna pick him up by his shirt with one hand and then, uh, Okay. Okay. What is with the picking up with the? Ah, why do you always pick him up? <laughs> and can I yell? Am I able to yell? Ask him you why. can. Stop. As, um, as you're, like, pulling him off the wall, you know, to kind of, like, get that aggression, you just hear Claudius stop, and then he has that pained grunt afterward. Does he put him down? He's gonna carry him over to you and set him down by you. He doesn't, he doesn't... <laughs> with one him. hand, with one hand, aggressively. That was uh. uncalled for. As he just throws you pretty much down. Yeah. And, so uh, why don't you let me finish talking before you start rip picking people up when they're about to die? Okay. And he just killed like you. Like I said. According to you. You just keep talking. Like you see, Claudius is getting pissed right now. <laughs> he's had a long so, day. <laughs> he's, Claudius he's, had a long day. He's, 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 like, something sp besides this, like, almost dying, there's something more of this just really pissing him off right now. Like, it's not even Vandal at this point, it's something else, and he's just tired of everyone's shit right now. So, so don't throw somebody down when they're about to die. Leave Has anybody up. noticed Oscar's legs in the room yet? We're gonna get there. <laughs> so, <laughs> looking tasty. We're gonna, we're gonna get there. Hendrick is still unconscious. They're, your legs are so, such like that of a young boy that even you're excited. <laughs> so no. <laughs> <laughs> so no. He doesn't. I don't know if he fully remembers what he did. But so I wasn't. I don't know what happened fully. 
I just know that I was told to go get uh, go get Vandal and stop him. Um, Rick, Rick so, stopped him at, like right here. You know I almost killed both of them. Just you know now. that you keep talking over so over top of people and never listening when you ask me to tell you something. Yes, I asked you to tell me what happened. Yeah, and, and you, you keep you just talking. A bunch of people. And you keep talking and, you and don't let me finish. Me. Because you won't let me finish. All right, go ahead. And Claudius is getting really angry. Like he can't yeah, really can move. See. He can't really move, but he's getting like pissed. You can see Rick's getting angry too. Well, good. So <laughs> Oscar's gonna it. light a cigarette. He's gonna roll and light a cigarette. Give me a cigarette, please. He like holds his hand out, trying to get it some. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna look at you and say, in my medical opinion, this is not a good time for this. <laughs> Anyway. I'll roll him a Virginia Slim. That's fine. Claudius takes it and... Can he start smoking? Yeah, he can. Okay. He was under some kind of curse or something, like a spell. He didn't really know what he was doing, but he was clearly, like, possessed by some... Um, it wasn't like he just all of a sudden decided, hey, I'm gonna start killing people for no reason. Like, he's never done that before. Maybe, I don't know. Before I met him, I don't know what he did. So... It wasn't his fault. Whatever it was is gone now, and it's fine. Now, all I know is everything. There's a lot of dead bodies, but everything's, I guess, okay, besides the fact that we're almost dead. <laughs> he coughed with a cigarette. And, uh, at this point, we just need to rest. Now, I don't know how we're going to fully explain the dead bodies. That's yeah. part of it. I did go up and try to talk to the band the champion, like I climbed through the window, well I tried to climb through the window, the champion was ready to kill me. At that point I was like kinda hurt but okay, some flying dude was trying to kill me and I saw an old friend and we're not gonna talk about that, but just don't fucking ask me about that, okay? Don't fucking ask me about that. And the Vandal's under some kind of spell and he's fine now. But I tried to stop him. I missed a couple shots that probably would have killed him. It, I don't know if killing him would have stopped that or just actually killed him completely. Um, he shot back at me with his fucking portal guns. And here we are. So at this point, I just want to sleep. And I want somebody to take care of me and heal me. I know you all can't exactly do that much. Oh, and... I don't really know what happened with Oscar. I wasn't down there. I heard a very violent scream, and I don't know how he has baby legs. I don't. I don't. I don't really understand. Claudius has never seen like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, Karen. Claudius they're not never... baby legs. It's they're fully adult, but they're just so new and fresh. They have a baby smell. Technically, so, Claudius has never that. seen something happen like that, though. Yeah, no. You've seen the regrowing of the... Oh, yeah, you did. You've seen it on uh, the monk guy. The blind monk. Uh, Electri. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm like... That looks very similar to what happened to Alexi. I'm assuming Hendrix did that. Is Hendrix awake? Uh, his choice. Hendrix is... Seems like he's beginning to stir, but it's like, uh, as you like, you notice that his chest is heaving, and then, yeah, he's not. It doesn't. It doesn't seem like he's going to wake up uh, immediately soon. So, at this point, whatever happened happened. It, I guess, dude. The one thing is, we can't uh. really go to go to Bant because they think it's some. Um, Actually, kind of at this something. point, uh, Oscar is going to pull out his hornet and stab Hendrick with that. Ooh. Okay. That's not magical healing, is it? Nope. Nope. It's a healing salve. 
So you yeah, just, I'm just feel gonna, like, the endorphins. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so how I want this to look is I'm looking away from the party. I got my cigarette in my left hand and I'm smoking it and I pull out the hornet and I just like stab it into his chest like an epinephrine and then pull it out <laughs> and ex and pull the cigarette away from my mouth and and then I'm going to say that hurt me more than it hurt you buddy like his body jerks a bit as Hendrick is like slowly coming to uh so Rick's gonna um, turn to Claudius now. I understand you are upset with something that happened to you, and we can talk about that if you want afterward. But I just want you to know why I'm upset and where our position is currently. We are surrounded by carnage that we caused with illegal magic that we should not have been doing. And, um, most of us are on the verge of death. There is no way we are going to be able to get a rest here. We're not going to be able to heal up here. And anybody that saw us move up and down the train knows that, um, we're magical witches. The only people in this train are banned. The other, like the bands and champions. No, there's a bunch of people that are still alive. I flew through them with my, um, with my, uh, demon, my devil. For the most part, as a side note, not trying to interrupt. Yeah, go ahead. You were the only magic they saw, though. No. No, anybody that was looking out the windows would have seen Hendrik, um, skating on his water. <laughs> true, true. Only, yeah, if they were looking out the windows and, you know, decided to, hey, let's go look up, and, oh, wait, were there windows the majority on The majority of the people, it's, the only ones that really saw Hendrik were the uh, people that actually gave him the water. As for, like, the majority of it, all they heard was, like, this slamming of noise above, and then, <laughs> for the some cars, they heard, <laughs> and then, you know, him coming through the door, looking dazed as hell. <laughs> Waiting, but I could probably um, pull off something like um, Steam Forge uh, malfunction or something. Uh, they they smoke uh, black stuff sometimes too. Rubber burns. You black. all you all hear the sound of the door open as Syndica is actually walking through. I am going to pretend like to be asleep. <laughs> Claudius is going to slightly wave. You just see him looking on, kind of shocked. What happened? Uh, Oscar is going to put his hand up so that everybody knows he wants to speak first. It seems that sarcophagus you were carrying had uh, quite a powerful vampire in it. Her name was Lilith. You see, yeah. him, you see him crouch down. down and kind of address the wounds of a vandal. She kicked their three asses and uh, sent me away. She's really strong. Yeah, at this point, Oscar is going to be like, yeah, she, uh, with the help of the jester, was able to overcome me in a battle of wits and will. I will let... Oscar roll deception with advantage. Don't fail me now. No. So he just looks up and she killed all these people too? Jeez. Yes. She had an accomplice. And who was that? Oscar's gonna say, uh, Oscar's gonna say, uh, you know, I was the accomplice, she took over me. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was the accomplice. I mean, the, the accomplice I was talking about was a young boy. I, I don't think he was strong enough to, to injure anybody or kill anybody, maybe injure but not kill. But, um, is this the same boy that's currently out 
in the jungle that we need to save. anybody but me since I told him I was mind controlled. Well, I mean, there were also other vampires in the train. You say that through your uh, fake sleep. Oh, you can't see my mouth move because there's a mask on. <laughs> Just be like, yeah, she turned oh, this is going to kind of lean forward. Do you have any medicine anywhere on this train? Hendrick is like fully come to, and it's like you hear him grunting for pain. Oh, uh, I think I think some of my ribs are broken. Uh. Hendrick, like you see Hendrick trying to like get up, and it's like he's just falling back down. Stay down, stay down. It right. took way too much to take out whatever was that. This Lilith, it was way too hard. At the very least. On the bright side, I'm certain she's dead now, but... Don't worry. We'll get you all some medicine. Everybody, let's try and get them all into uh, the bant cart. Oh, I have some supplies that you can use. Yes, tally-ho, then. So, he, right he's so. looking at you. Um, do you need pants? Yes. New pants would be nice. I suppose you don't have any basilisk skin shoes, do you? I think oh, like, by what? By the gods, I actually do. No, no. no. I think his, you know, your pants are basically short shorts now, aren't they? Yeah, they're just shorts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So he looks to uh, Rick and he asks, looks at Oscar, "Are you able to help us or no?" I was talking, he was talking to, uh, Oscar, cause, you know, baby legs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can help. Yeah. Um, so, all of you are getting lifted, you know, they're helping you walk all the way down to the other carts. Um, a few failed attempts, we can move all of you guys over there. I can move two of them at once. Run all the way to the bank cart. Yeah, I'll move you all there. Oscar, where, no, Oscar, no, Oscar, Oscar! <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> okay. Um, they set down Vandal, Claudius, Hendrick, <coughs> and then Oscar, you as well. <laughs> so. You see him. Look, everybody. I'll start preparing something that'll help them. I have to apologize, but I'm sorry about the front of the train. As Hendrix, like, kind of gasping a bit. You all did what needed to be done. You sorry handled about the your threat. window. <laughs> you handled the threat, and we're all grateful for it. No, let me be honest. Hey, Claudius. Here. Claudius begins to like pant, but like really violently. Like it's, something's wrong with his lungs. Like he's breathing. Hendrick's just gonna try to speak here, so I don't think we're quite done. I apparent I believe there's some sort of accomplice for whatever was that lady Lily. Slow That's breathing, what? Claudius. Focus. Uh, whatever. That lady's name, Lilith? Yeah, she said something about, I guess, an accomplice. Somebody tried to contact her. I don't know who, but they may still be on this train. That's, yeah, and that's like, Hendrix just like, kind of like, just like, not talking. Like, he's kind of like, still sitting there as if like, it's taking him more time to think. Bodies, are you okay, buddy? He's actually passed the fuck out. Like, he's... His breathing was very sharp, and then you see the champion, like, trying to hold his hand on his chest. That way, the puncture wound is actually sealed shut. And he pretty much compressed his chest, then pulling it up. That way, he can force a breath 
Claudius, you do awake to that. It's very painful, but it is helping you breathe again. Slow. There you go. I never ran into that. He looks over at him. Alright. Alright. Keep him going. Make sure he doesn't pass out. All of you. See the champion Oscar. literally compressing Claudius' chest and pulling him back up because that's the only way he can breathe right now. Oh well, when we're healed, we can. When we're when we're spell slotted up, we can deal with that. But champion, just keep performing CPR or something. <laughs> For eight hours. Oh, I'm moving right now. Okay. It's okay. it's pretty bad. So Oscar, Oscar's going to ask them. If the train can even keep going towards Bant City. But what we got, it's not going to be able to keep moving until we do repairs. It'll take about two days. Because you, okay. from what the man on the other side of the train said, keep breathing. He uh, presses down again. Will we be, you think we'll be able to find that boy? I don't know. <sighs> Woods in that time while we repair the train. I don't know who here is physically strong enough, but maybe Claudius. He presses down again. I need you awake. Can Oscar not appear? Like, can I roll medicine or something to see yeah. if I can? Can or Hendrick that... help with that to find out how bad yeah. the puncture is? Yes, you both can. Do it with advantage. Okay. I'm just gonna re-roll it then. Yeah. So he has a very deep puncture wound that goes almost through the entirety of the lung. The only reason why it's able to be sealed is because the back did not get damaged. So the champion's currently keeping a hard press on the very front. That way the air flow stays in there. Um, during this time, Hendrik, you destroy your body to fix some of the damage. Claudius, you are in immense pain as he seals up your lung... But it, you still have the effects of it, but you can breathe now. Okay. Jake's kind of like wobbling back to the chair, and just you just see him collapse. Like he's basically laying down on the, like he's taking up the whole uh, sofa now, basically. Would everybody here have seen him do that? Yeah. Champion already, seems unfazed. They already know we're witches, so it's fine. Anyway, um... Hendrix, like, too... He's too knocked out. He's not noticing much right now. Hendrix still has broken huh. ribs. And he's Hold going on. to... You could see him try to do the same thing again. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, uh... You see Hendrix just press his hand on his chest as he does another, uh... One of these do Oscar, do you do anything before he's about to destroy his yeah. body again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. I wanted to see if that would work, and I think it will. Um, yes. Let me put it. To... I'm gonna touch. I'm just gonna touch Hendrick with that. So you grab his arm before he does it to himself, <laughs> and he literally does greater restoration on you. As you feel yourself get healed up without. You destroying your body. Okay, so I don't lose the head. Yeah. Yeah, and you all see for the first time that this is something that he can do now. Wait, the fuck is that? That's. What is that? What is that? Yeah. Is that restoration? Yeah. You that? see, you see that he does this, and you can tell that it is formed through his insistent need on wanting to help the allies around him. Does that mean I get to fix uh, fix the broken ribs now? Um, your ribs are reforming. You still have the effects of it, but your the pain there is a lot lesser. So you have a, it's halved on how long that takes to heal. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, it is. 
It is. I got it. Uh, the only thing, it's a, it's like it's medium. A it's medium restoration. <laughs> it's it's restoration. Yeah, that's it. It's just restoration. You know, in regular D and D, there is regular restoration. Yeah, there is in this too. But <laughs> Vandal, yeah, your head is right fucking destroyed right now. Like you are. It's the most painful shit you've felt in a very long time. Uh, Oscar's gonna wave his hand at Vandal and say, Come come see me, child. Let me heal you with my gifted hands. <laughs> come, child. Child, why um, aren't you coming to me? Yeah. So I'm just gonna put my feet on the table and lean back and try to fall asleep. <laughs> try to drown out all the noise. Oh my god. Rick's as as gonna can. pick him up. Why? Why are you pick? Why? Why? The but champion actually stop. Like, hold your hand. Like, stop. Stop. He just let him be. Just less movement, the better. Yeah. <laughs> then Oscar is gonna get up. Say you so the next person I was going to pick up was going to be Oscar. Oscar I was going to say Rick Solution everything. Hold on, I got to. I, gotta, I can do that four times a day. Yeah, so I'm gonna. I'm just gonna gently touch Vandal's hand with cleansing touch. Try and so. help him with his wounds. So it doesn't do an incredible bit, but your headaches do get reduced down. And I'm just gonna sit down. So, about this time, Syndica comes back in, and he has, like, these strange bowls of different kind of herbs and everything. Alright. And he sets them on the table. So what hurts on you? Is he asking Hendrick? Yeah. Hendrick's kind of, like, knocked out, so it's like, what did you say? He, he kind of snaps fingers and gets you to be a little coherent. What hurts worst on you? Uh, Oscar, having assessed Hendrick with his medical knowledge, is going to say everything. His, his, mostly, his, mostly his internal torso organs have taken some severe blunt force trauma. Yeah. As if he smashed into something very, very hard. And yeah. it looks like it looked like there were repeated fractures, so it might have happened more than once. No idea what it could have been. I have no idea. But it looks like he took blunt force trauma. No idea from what. Yeah. Try to get over to this site as soon as possible. All right. Just stop talking. And he, uh, you see him grab a whole bunch of herbs, and he starts grinding them with his thumb, before he literally just opens your mouth and puts it like on your tongue. Sure will not. Hendrix starts chewing. Yep. Um, it burns your tongue a little bit, but you feel like the entire like moisture that goes down your throat is actually like creating this warm feeling throughout the entirety of your torso. You. What's wrong? What's the biggest issue you have? Claudius. Has Oscar seen Claudius much yet? Like, not really. I mean, it... do do I do, does it look like he has a pair of bullet holes in his yeah. shirt? Yeah, he does. Uh, Oscar is going to say, um, looks like gunshots, and a lot of them. Clearly. Um, so your lungs is what you're saying. I got it. Uh, you see him start, he mixes this combination of, like, herbs and a little bit of, like, salve. And as he's doing it, he's looking at you and watching your breathing while you're talking. It's kind of difficult, because I don't know if something in my sides are broken, or if it's the lungs. I 
My torso hurts really badly. Alright. Open your mouth. And when... And when... When I put this up to your mouth, take a large breath, even if it hurts. And hold it as long as you can. Um, you see him put another herb on top and it creates this, like, smoke. Breathe. So you feel the sharp pain throughout your entire torso. You do... You do know what he's doing, though, and it's a very native, like, thing, a different type of medicine and stuff. Your body, like, gets a very a little bit woozy, but you do feel like your breathing starts steadying down, and it does lessen the pain. And you hear, Mom. <clears throat> what about you? That's what Claudia says. He just says, Mom. What about me? What hurts the most, other than... Uh, he also does hand you a towel. That is wet. To clean yourself up when you need it. Thank you. So what hurts worse on you? Uh, my head, mostly. Like headaches and all that? Very much so. Got it. Uh, you see him... Do once again a few different herbs. This time he grinds up like what this looks like almost like garlic and it breaks apart as you hear <coughs> as he's doing it. And eventually he pulls open the mask like and then just slides it into his mouth. Make sure you chew on that for at least twenty minutes. He doesn't take the mask off completely. Rip Rick. <laughs> You know what? Pew. I am. What do I need to a perception check, right? He was covering it like he was standing in front of it, so. Do I see anything? No. You you see a tiny bit more of his nose. There you go. He gets so hard. <laughs> but, um, he tells you to chew on that. And it should help in about an hour. I'm going to come back throughout the day and do the same thing again for all of you. What about you, Oscar? I'm going to look down at my legs and just slowly bring my head back up and say, I lost my legs today stopping the train. They look like they're okay. Well... Is the, there, there's apparently a lot of blood on my pants, right? Yeah. Whatever's left of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of them booty shorts. Them booty shorts has some blood on them. Could have picked up your old legs. I'm just gonna like when I when I pull up the pants. Does it look like there's scars where the legs regrew or? Yeah. Scars. No, oh. it's your choice. Yeah, because regeneration doesn't actually do that. It comes from your fresh skin all the way down. Does it look like I have the same amount, like, of leg hair, or did the leg hair change? Like, no, uh, it's hair. smooth as a baby's bottom. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pull up. Tell. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull up enough of my leg to show that I have leg hair at one point, and there's just like a fine line where it starts and stops. Just be like, yeah, my legs hurt. <laughs> just um. Alright, I got it. Um, he starts mixing what looks like a uh, fluid, and then adds some of that and starts mixing it together. Then he hands you the bowl. Administer it every hour. It should numb them enough to get the blood flowing to them a little bit better. So, it's like a, it's like an injectable solution? No, 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 no. It's topical. It's a topical? Oh, yeah. okay. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it. Officer goes start... mad for injectables. I'm gonna start rubbing it on my legs. It's just real sad and quiet. Uh, we're going to try and figure out. We're going to assess the damages. Rick, he, he, as he walks over to him, sees Rick, and then walks away, Rick's gonna make like a "what the fuck" kind of face. What about me? You're fine. You're a robot. 
Steam yeah, Forge can repair point, themselves. I'm gonna point, I'm gonna point at my arm. What? It, it hurts. It's just like a little tiny scratch. <laughs> There's so much blood. <laughs> this blood fence was a terrible idea. <laughs> um, he looks like I think you'll be okay. Um, I'm going to assess the situation, see the damages. I'll give you a rough estimate on how long it's going to take. All of you, make sure you do exactly as that was. He sets uh, each kind of mixture in front of everybody. Make sure you add it at every hour for the next three hours. And it should lessen everything. Uh, at this point, Oscar's going to go, what, what happened to the people that I stowed away in my room? The, the detective and the scientist. And the, the scientist. He looks at you. I have no idea. We haven't, uh, we haven't been down that way. Oscar's gonna ask him. Uh, yeah, can Rick and I go look for them? What's the guy's name that mm -hmm. is the Steam Forge repair? Uh, the guy. The one that you were talking about, like, to try and get them. That would have been Flint. Wait, no, no, no. It was uh, the one for the arms, right? Yeah, it's just Scrapper. You're, t you're talking about this guy right here, yeah? Yes. Yeah, that's Scrapper. Can I just... I want to describe them. If you guys see if you can show them that picture and ask them to find him. Well, Oscar is going to start walking to his room. Does anybody stop Oscar on the way out? <laughs> Does it seem like it. Okay. Um, you do see, however, the champion sitting down to play music. Interesting. Is he a uh, bard? I... Oh. Oh, I forgot that bards are the only ones allowed to play piano now. No, but they can heal with their soothing magic. Okay. I'm gonna say this took Oscar some time to shuffle. Yeah. Uh, you also saw a stripped down man as you're walking through. He, he doesn't seem very, very in it. He's just passed out now. Alright, I'm gonna knock on the door and say that it's Oscar. You see it open as uh, he's standing there. Alright. Uh, they're both in here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Oscar's gonna, like, peek his head inside and say, The, the vampire has been neutralized. Get comfortable. We're gonna be stuck here a couple of days. Rick's gonna poke his head around. She, she was, she do be, she did be dummy thick, though. What? He's saying the rotundness of her buttocks was obscene. Mm. Well, okay. Rotundness. <laughs> Just okay. And her supple breasts were quite luscious. So much like a succubus. Got it. Yep, yeah, well, uh, yep. Yeah, I would assume that you guys can stay here uh, for now, and we'll, we'll come back and... Ninji's upstairs. Yeah. Are you going to bed? Okay. Yeah, so yeah, Oscar's just gonna tell them to hang out here and wait for us to come back, and then he's gonna start making, hobbling his way back. Mm. <laughs> what? Yeah. Your mic is like super quiet right now. Yeah, Rick, you are so far from your mic right now. Okay. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I was saying, I just like the idea that none of them know what I was talking about when I said that she was dummy thick, though. And, uh, yeah, we come back in. Huh? So you all see... common saying in, like, the 15th century. So you all see that, uh, 
Everybody's all sitting there. I mean, wouldn't this be the 18th century? No. Because guns? Yeah, no. It's 15th. It's the 16th century, then. They technically had guns really early, they just weren't very good guns. No. Um, but... With I steam power and all that. This is a diverged history where yeah. uh, steam power took over. So. Like, there's also literally robots in Japan, but... Yeah. Yep, so, uh, Hedrick's just gonna follow the directions and keep taking that medicine. And I'm just gonna sit here and worry about the child lost in the jungle that I tried to save. Relax, everyone thinks that uh, he was working with uh, Lilith anyways. Yes, but I tried to save this child, and now everyone's trying to hunt him. <laughs> Better him than us. Let it be known, the most evil party member is now Rick. <laughs> Your mic's fucking up, bro. I mean, let it be known. Let it be known. Vandal never cared about the bounty being paid off. He just wanted to save the kid. <laughs> Roberto. I, I know, I know, but I'm saying, this is let it be known. Rick's the most evil thing. <laughs> He's all about, no, he's all about covering it. track. We, re we responded, he said it. Like, sure, if the truth gets out, then whatever, I can deal with it. I'm just not trying to have a kid's blood on my hands. Yeah, that's the blood you don't want on your hands. Yeah. Not mine. I mean, you were the one who just kept coming after me. <laughs> you were so. like the Terminator, dude. Yeah, that's fair. Just nothing can keep me down, and I'm like, uh, really? This next bullet should. Well, never mind, it didn't. So, Let's you try that again. <laughs> Vandal, you can't really sleep because all that shit. Um, Claudius, it's very rough for you to sleep, especially with all the pain. So, it's even with the numb, like numbing that happens, it's still pretty hard. Hendrik, you, you're like in and out, you're very drifting, but also it's hard to even get restful sleep so yeah it's unfortunate for uh, Hendrix sadly what the shame do I get do, do I get a restful sleep spell no You're you, you know what you don't sleep you don't sleep <laughs> so what about Oscar Oscar you're not having a bad time you, you sleep pretty well you don't have a dead child on your conscience. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't even know about the child. This is the first time I'm hearing about the child. You all could talk about it. <laughs> like, you, no one has the full story right now. It's all bits and pieces. Well, right now, some of us are asleep, though, because we have to be. I don't know if I can openly discuss the child now that we have... I don't know. Head that out a story that he's a somehow an accomplice to an evil vampire. Hendrik is kind of like really hurt and it's like he'd rather get a little bit healed up before he, you know, probes for more. Yeah, that's kind of my thing. It's like I'd like to You all can roll time. you all can roll your hit dice. It's been well over thirty minutes. Wait. Alright, fourteen hit die, here we go. I'll wait for everybody else to do theirs though. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Hendrik, what the fuck? <laughs> Great. Like what? Yeah. Well, Getting all your natural immediately sign off for the night, bud. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you know what? That was a really good like thing. How many hit dice does Austin? Oh have? my god, bro! <laughs> it's a thing, but this isn't when we're 10? having a fight. <laughs> How many? I get fourteen hit dice. 
That motherfucker gets either a one or eight. There's no in between. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Are you getting nothing but natural all right, all right, right, all right now? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Hold on, hold on, Hendrick, are you rolling more? Mm, Hendrick's just rolling only, uh, he's gonna roll, he's rolling seven, so... Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> so, I need to add Chris another broken. two more, so... Eleven. I'll let you do your thing before I add any more. Plus eleven, and then plus, uh, four, plus, and then another eight, so... Okay. Yeah, that's it for Hendrick. No longer at half health. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, eight. He just wants all of his health back. Fuck anything else. You don't get all your hit dice back when you like do a long rest either. You get half. So. Yeah, well, that's yeah, but. Damn, get ready for right. my hit dice. I have to roll, like, all of my hit dice to get all the damage worth of health. <laughs> that at least takes me to almost high. Alright, alright, alright. Now it's my turn. My turn? We'll go for, I don't know, eight? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Seriously, I only have to use seven, so I, use nat, I roll nat 20. I mean, Hendrick's not at full health, though. Don't wow, that was awful. Here. I don't know. It still hurt a lot. Yeah, like all of you were in pain. Yeah. Did Oscar's turn to roll dice? Yeah. So do I get 14 total hit dice? Is that how that works? Yeah, and then when you rest, you only get half of your hit dice back. Um, I will, uh... Or... I'll make an agreement if everyone else wants to, since we're rolling hit dice. Claudius can wake up if everyone wants to, else wants to wake up to discuss things. If not, he'll keep sleeping. None of you are really oh, sleeping. I suppose this, I gain 11 plus 8 plus 5. Yeah, like, that's how much, 24. like, of your hit points you get back. Yeah, I'm yeah. just gonna stop at that. I'm almost at full health. Yeah, I'm nowhere near half. I'll just roll the four. Alright, so it's my turn? Yeah! Yeah, let me roll all all these fucking hit dice. Alright, all right, well good, I'm back at full health. <laughs> Alright, well, let's. I gotta go charge into the jungle now. Yeah, Oscar wants to take a long rest before he does anything, like... I also want some pants and shoes before I start... He brought you some. The jungle. Yeah, I gave you my extra suit. And he brought you pants. I don't is think there I a, have extra Is there pants. a private place that I can change? Your room. There's people in my room. Has Does it been raining matter? in the jungle? Or this area? Um, let's find out. Uh, it's about six days ago. There was rain. So it still has a little bit of parts that are muddy. He checked the weather for the real location. No, I just rolled to see when the last time it rained was. Alright, well, I'm gonna mix the stuff up and then take another dosage and then get out of the couch. You all see Vandal stand up. Oscar's oh. gonna say, "What are you doing, partner?" That uh, that half hit dice thing is that a homebrew rule? No, that's just how it is. Because I thought it was uh, one hit die every half an hour that you rested, or something no. like that. No, no, you get half back on a long rest. Anyways, <clears throat> there's a child out there, and I don't want to leave him in the jungle alone. I was just gonna look up. Yep, because you're the one that needs to go find him. Yeah, uh, listen, I kind of want to go with you because I want to make sure that this kid is found alive. Is dead? You want to make sure he's dead? No, no, no. I definitely don't want to make sure that uh, our our fall guy. I mean, our 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 uh, 
our kid is dead. Yeah, that's it. He's gonna kill this kid. I do not intend to do anything to this child. Not you. Bring them back. Not you. Rick does definitely. Let me, let me, let me be honest with you. Go ahead and roll an insight roll. Two. Claudius. Claudius isn't paying attention to you. <laughs> you don't care. <laughs> He's just tired. He's done. <laughs> Claudius, I, let me tell you, I definitely do not want this kid dead. I like the idea of you want the kid dead, though. No, 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 no. no. I, want I, like, I like that idea. Out of character, Rick wants something much more evil. He wants the kid no, to No, no, you want to molest him. Oh my god, guys, stop. Yes. Of course I believe you, Rick. Of course I do. Wait, what does Rick want? I'll, I'll roll an insight. Fuck it. That's not right. As I slowly make my way to the door. That chick's oh. not gonna say anything. It's alright, it's alright. What you guys gather is that Rick definitely wants this kid to stay alive. At least long enough to get back to the crane to the train to um attest for his actions. What actions did he do? <laughs> he conspired with the witch um Lilith. I guess Oscar will try to go with them. I have dark vision, so that might help. I'll let out one big ass size. I continue walking past the champion to the door. <laughs> yeah. right, so who all is going out into the jungle? I'll go with them. A very broken, beaten vandal. <laughs> not, not Claudius. A perfectly fine. Him and Henry will pay back, and maybe Hendrick later. Hendrick is staying in the train at this time. <laughs> and yeah. past your baby. Oh, uh, but wait, is Oscar going? By the way. Yeah. Okay, so before Oscar leaves with them, Hendrick's gonna pull out his, uh, he's gonna pull out Odex's staff. Gonna cast a spell on him. Oh, by the way, uh, you weren't, you weren't here when I selected it, but, um, I selected the lucky feet, um, Laws, so I'm just I'm pinging it. So you can luck e. It. Yes, luck. Lucky. Lucky. There's no e in that. Loose key. No, I copied. I copied it. <laughs> Definitely lucky. Luke so, key. Hendrick, who are you casting fortune's favor on? Oscar, you. What's that? I don't. What does it do? Is Read it the spell. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a spell. It it's right there. You, uh, it, make, it basically makes it so that uh, you could dismiss the spell on yourself to, uh, you know, ch change the future a bit. Make It's like lucky. Except oh. instead of, you know, the, it, it's like having one luck point of lucky. It no, lasts okay. for one hour, though. Okay. Yep. So, hey, I don't know what you're lucky. talking about. There's no E. <laughs> yeah, loose key is no longer a thing. It's lucky. Got it. Understood. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna all right. help you all. Let's go past your baby legs. At this point, I hope I have my new pants and boots. Listen, on. you do. Yeah, you well, guys. I mean, my first plan was to go back to the original bar cart and then try and track his like tracks and see where he went. Roll a survival. I knew Where did that we get was gonna come up? Where did we get fast traveled to? Nowhere yet. Oh, oh okay. deleted our book. How do you know? Where? Um, no. Okay. Are all of you tracking this? Yeah. Then you can roll with advantage. Oh, I can roll with advantage. Yeah, because you're the one that's doing it first off. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> so do we also roll with advantage? No. No. It's it was just the initial startup. Right, See, so Rick could have could have did great, but no. Oh wait, oh, wait, wait no, I can do it. I can I can force him to re-roll. It's a d20, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Lucky him. Boom. 
<laughs> advantage. Roll, roll the roll set again. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Hell yeah. A little better. Yeah, At least you, passes, I think. You maybe. do. You do get a good track on them. It's not that okay. hard to find the broken down shit. So. I guess we're just following that direction. Yep, we're just so following his tracks. Right. Uh, you guys are going to be up at the top. Left. Oh, well, that's that's not the tokens I want. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Uh, me and Claudius at the train for now, right? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. That's hey, isn't good. this where we fought the basilisk? No. No, it looks similar, though. All right. Survivalist, track the way. I found me, by the way. I'm up at the top. Yeah, I found this too. Okay, how is the kid gonna survive out here? Okay, oh, do I keep rolling to find out where this kid Wait, went? Why didn't I heal? Where did my health go? One, seven, one, enter, yeah. Uh, everybody's health fixed, yeah. So, you all, uh, yes, you will have to roll survival again. As you're looking around, trying to find Can any I kind of tracks. Survival? Sure, both, all of you are, like, trying to find it. It's not going to be with advantage, though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Rick, Rick and Oscar both almost instinctively see something, like, Rick, you see the trees were pushed down over here. Uh, after a moment, Vandal, you do see it too. Oscar, you saw it when you first came up. The trees that were good down, like as someone was trying to push through. Well, I guess we keep going this way. It's a lot more dense than this, so it it's kind of easy to see like certain things that have been broken down. Are we still on the right path? From what you collect, yes. Okay. Uh, it took you about have... 30 minutes to get here, by the way. Okay. Are we gonna... Are we gonna survival check to see if he went down or right? Or do we still see the path? Go ahead and make another survival check. Yeah, this kid's have been out here for an hour now. Oh my lord. Yeah. So you, you would die if you were out in the woods all alone. Um, Oscar, I wouldn't find him. That's for sure. Robert, you both noticed <laughs> that it leads near like the shoreline of that river. Then I guess we walk this way. Well, yeah, it was a suicidal plan. I mean, I already have less than half health, and I'm looking for a kid in the jungle. So I'm gonna stop you right there. Everybody, stop right over where Rick is. I'm gonna do a perception. I want to see if I can't see uh, when I got close enough to the water. I wanted to see if there was enough, or if I saw any like blood or. All of you can roll. All of you can roll perception. Vandal through the tree. You saw it immediately. They're having a hard time seeing, it, but you see him across the water. Not the kid. Someone else. Son of a bitch. That's gonna be all you hear, by the way. All right, Wanna elaborate? The one who attacked Claudius and myself. You the one who point? messed with my mind. You wanna point it out? Or I'll point in the direction he's in. All of you then see it with your perception rolls. Him. This guy. Hmm. How far away is he? Can I, am I strong enough to throw a tiny little rock near him? Sure. Go ahead and roll. Okay. Uh, roll a. Do you want to use strength or dex? Uh. They're both good, but dexterity is better. Go ahead and roll. Uh, just roll a flat dexterity. You don't want a dexterity save, you want dexterity. Right? Yeah, just dexterity. Incredible. 
Uh, you throw it and it hits the water. You just see him uh, running his hand across his chin like... Hmm. Can we start making our way towards the bank? Yeah, we can. Is but, that a uh, D20 plus 3? But the kid's yeah. trails definitely went, like, this way, right? Yeah, they look like they went to the water. I don't like where this is going already. Alright. Are you big lost? Wait, what did he say? Are, Are you, you a bit lost? lost? No. Just looking for someone. You said he attacked you? I'm yes. whispering this to Claudius. Not Claudius. Uh, yeah, Claudius, you hear it in the train. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> More accurately, on. sent my mind into a frenzy, but yes. I suppose he didn't actually attack me. You all look very... He is kind of boyish, so if we capture him and bring him back, we don't actually have to use the, the, the other boy as a uh, fall guy. Hmm. <laughs> you just see him laughing a little bit. Uh, you want me water... back on that train? What did what you say? Do you want me back on that train? Because I'll go free of charge. I would love to do nothing more than bring you back to that train. Wait. I don't want him to teleport to the train. I, I want to beat him up. Wait, listen, listen, Vlad, I've seen your deception through years of being on your ship. You really think that you're going to lie to me? No. No. If you want the truth, I want you dead. <laughs> oh, for shame. Is the... Is the water... Do we have to swim through the water, or do we have to walk through the water? It's about five freedom? feet deep. It's about five feet deep once you get it right there. All right. Well, you can you can see the rocks and how far down they go right there. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna start trying to make my way towards them. Then. I'm gonna tell you right now, you're having the worst time because you have a limp trying to get through the water. You literally have ten feet of movement. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick them up and try and wade across. You will have about 10 feet of movement, too, if you're carrying him. I'm a heavy lad. I'm just going to point out that he could probably just dimension door or something. Out of character. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not going to start walking. Um, In character, he was flying. So, you could do that again. I don't have wings. Uh, and what were you doing? doing? Levitating. <laughs> All I have to say is that if you really want me to go back to the train, I will do nothing more than to go back. No, no. Why what? don't we? Why don't we talk this out? Why don't why you come you? talk with us over here? We'll... Yes, I want. I want you to come to me. Not Are you friend. offering a parlay? Let's, I know that that word for talk, so yeah, let's uh, let's chat. He was he looks to Vandal. I suppose you want to trade then. Absolutely. Hmm. We'll have to discuss that very quickly first. Well, what are we trading? I'm gonna come a little bit closer. <laughs> Whisper. He wants the wheel. Hmm. Uh, what's he... Alright. What's his offer? Probably not to kill anyone. Oh my god.
So, either we give up the wheel, or we fight and probably die here. <laughs> He's welcome to try and fight me. I'm not giving him the wheel. Well, he can fly faster than we can get out of here. From my understanding, you don't have the wheel, right? They don't. Yeah. That's out of character. character though. Out of character. Pretty sure someone on the train does, though. <laughs> so, are we in agreement that we'll do a trade? That I get what, what I want? want? He looks behind him and then back at you. Um, you know... Probably this. And he uh, just holds his hand out and you see just this, the boy... Wrapped in what looks like these wires that are about to like stab him to his throat and all of his skin. How do I know he's not hurt yet? You see his face of just shock. Um, you see that he's not really doing anything. Um, no, it has to be a long rest, Oscar. Um, you see that. He moves one of the wires and, like, a tiny bit of blood comes down. Ugh, well, what's not with those? And the kid just is shaking. He can't talk, because if he talks, it will cut his throat. Um, about this time, though, he looks. And what I want is actually right around your neck. What would you want that for? My reasons are my own. Rick's gonna point at him, so you're gonna pick on a defenseless kid instead of taking one of his friends as hostage. So you see him grab the top of his head and kind of shake him a little bit? Absolutely. I take what is needed for a proper trade. Rick's gonna laugh. <laughs> Not to be any rude or anything, but what makes you think I care about the kid? Oh, it's not you that cares. It's him. Personally, you'd be doing me a favor. We'd have a body, and uh, I wouldn't have to hide anything anymore. But that would just leave a guilty conscience, right? And I know for a fact how those live on for years after everything takes place. Maybe even we'll send people into unprecedented rage for anger that they didn't do something. You want the necklace, right? Yes. I'm going to try and probably unsuccessfully snatch it from um, Vandal. And what do I need to roll? Uh, slide hand back. Ah, uh, okay. Slap it. Uh, How dare you. Hold on, one second. <clears throat> Rick's gonna... Rick's gonna turn to Vandal. Uh, Oscar, send all of that to Hendrick. Just trust me. Trust your big, strong... So... Fast bulky friend to hold the amulet that needs to be in melee range to attack. I get what you're saying. But, it's not yours to give, and I don't trust that he'll get, let the kid go. The 
we go. I'm gonna go use the bathroom real quick. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Keep your headset on. You want me to keep my head on? Headset yeah. on a lot of shit. Yeah. Trust. Yeah. That's gonna be weird. Okay. I still have a broken moon pendant in my inventory. Does it? Can it look similar, or does it look similar yeah. to the? No, absolutely not. How do I have any idea that you actually let this kid go? I'm a man of my word. When have I lied to you? <laughs> Not once in the years that I actually was on your ship did I ever tell a lie. When you were on that ship. Now I have no idea who you are. Somebody who has to find something very valuable. And you're just one stone in the way. How about you let the kid go right now, we'll all go to the ship, and then we can discuss it further. You want to go to the ship? I mean, Which the one? train, 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 okay. train, train. Okay. <laughs> if I go to the I'm train, so... I'm taking something else. So we're doing a different trade if we're going to the train. I'm taking what I want on the train. If I go back there, I'm no longer just doing my own business, but someone else's as well. Mm. So now you're asking me two things if you go back there. You're only asking for one now. Exactly. If I'm here and you do the trade now, I leave. If we go back to the train, I'm taking the wheel too. What are these gunshot tokens? What? In my inventory. You told me not to worry about them while we were at Galen. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, those are just old fragments of your uh, thing, right? Let me look. They're yeah. They're supposed to be something special, but... Yeah, they're irrelevant at the moment. And if I give you nothing, then what? He just thinks about it for a moment. Well, I could do one of two things. I could for sure kill this boy. But I could make it seem like someone else did it. And what I know from what you guys are doing is that you're trying to clear a bounty. All you have to do is get to Bant City and it'll all be clear, but what happens if a random death happens that you caused? What if all the information about what you did on the train gets out? Don't know if they're going to be so lenient at that point. Um, yeah, no, he's, he's not talking, I'm thinking about something here. For, uh, So, what do you two think? You notice Oscar is deep in thought. What about you, Rick? Rick's still looking at your amulet. Uh-huh. No. Um, I'm going to cut back to the train. Now, Hendrik, you've heard everything that was said. Do you channel magic? Hendrik looks around the room, seeing that... Ah, shit, uh... wait. Huh? Hold on, I... What do you mean he heard everything? Not, not the same thing. Well, one second. Okay, okay, one second then. Yeah. Okay. 
So now you'll have to send to Hendrick as well. Hendrick, I mind link. I mind link with you, and check the journal. And I'm gonna private message you. Okay, so I have to check my check the 18 journal and uh, and the DM. Okay. Thank you for that. Okay. All right then. So. Uh, so the moment I hear that, um, I'm going to look toward the champion, and uh, I'm going to need to do something really quickly here. And Claudius, as, you are watching him as well. As Hendrik gets okay. up, does Hendrik remember, like, in which direction they went, in per se? Uh, they, you don't need to know that. They already know. Perfect. That's... Perfectly fine. Then Hendrick's just gonna look out the window as he begins to low to unwrap the wheel that was on his back. Claudius, he is unwrapping the Andorian wheel. Uh, do I Hendrick, see him doing this? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're watching him do this. Hendrick, as Hendrick finishes unwrapping, he holds up to the part where it holds the eleventh symbol, the serpent. And Hendrik, you see Hendrik massively seem to be in, like, pain. Claudius, you see him pulling his hands up to put magic into it as he's pressing his hand to the 11th symbol. What do you do? Um, can I cast a telekinetic force around us? For what? Just, I don't, I don't know what's happening. I just feel like I want to put a force field around us. It seems like the others need our help, Claudius. What are you... what are you doing? As you see the magic pulling from his body, his entire arm turns black with purple, like, constellations through as he's pressing this magic into the 11th. Uh, it counts as a 9th level spell. Oscar... Okay, Hendrick just hears Oscar say that? hurry. Oscar is there to hurry up, so... yep. I've already paid the cost, and, uh, what, what happens next now? <clears throat> okay. Well, let's find out. Oh, shit. So, you see the fire, like, the magic go up his arm, and it goes, like, into the center of his chest. It, like, all the cuts on his body actually start showing up with these, this purple glow. The champion just stops and turns around watching this happen. He slams his fingers into the uh, 11th, and as he's doing that, you see this body of what looks like a smoky creature come out as the scythe slams to the ground, lifting its body out of whatever that is. You won in a war, I'll bring a war. As he disappears within an instant. Now. Oh. Over here, you guys. Can I see a, pic I see a picture of it? Yeah, one it's second. A, it's in the 18 journal. Yeah, it's Serpent. Is it in the journal right now? Where is it? Scroll up. Oh, okay. <laughs> that oh, uh, that just... Serpent then. Yeah. yeah. Hold on, I will find it. I'll oh, wait. 18 journal on Discord? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'll pin I, I, the I, area. I got, it, I got it, I got it. Yeah, just post it in there for everybody. Please. Oh. Oh yeah, that motherfucker. Oh, what is boy. that? That looks like the guy from Seven Deadly Sins, kinda. Oh yeah. Just like get away. So his face actually seems a little uh like confused for a moment. As if he senses something, but you just see the Endorian appear behind him. With this scythe, and he is going to swing. Can I switch my? Can you switch my view to be able to see them? I got, no, 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 no. I'll just stream. Oh uh, yeah, I'll just. No. Stream. No. Oh, I can watch. Can I watch Twitch? Is that fine? No. Hold on. I can just share my screen. I, I got it. I got it. There you go. 
Well, I should have your stream up anyway. So. Nah. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> oh, okay. So, you see Serpent literally going to swing this scythe at him. Let's see if he can hit. So, it does hit. And as you see just the blade connect to, like, his back, you see the energy blast out as if it was creating these ripples in what looks like time. And he came out of nowhere, you guys. Rick, Vandal, I don't know, you did not expect that to happen. However, he doesn't look like he's dead. Does he look like he's almost dead? No. He looks like he took a lot of damage, though. I will be real with that. The Dorian, though, is just, like, looking at him, like, wondering what the fuck's going on. Uh, uh, and has he dropped the kid? Like, lost concentration on that, or what? Yeah, he lost concentration on the kid. Like, it's... The ropes are still on him, because all he did was hide his body, like, when he was talking to you. Are the things still at his neck? No. They're they're not at they're like loose now. Wait wait, so the kid's not actually here. Does Rick notice? No, he that? is. He was. He is there. Notice what? Uh, the he lost his concentration on the kid. No. I did a perception. No, it, so Rick... well you could see like that it's loose now. It's not an incredible bit. All right, <laughs> Rick's gonna Rick's gonna dive into the water and try. And... That's as far as I can get in this turn. So you see him raise his hands, and he looks like he's making what looks like an ang kind of like an angelic symbol, as his body just sheens with this uh, blue and yellow energy, as he just stops moving and he looks up at the Endorian. Oh, by the way, since I was moving at him, I'm trying to get Kra out. Alright, that would be a bonus action to summon him. Then poof. And I'll just main action dash and try to get over there. So then I'll actually get there. Brain injury is, uh... Does that... What all does brain injury do again? Let's see. Doubles your movement speed, I believe. No. <laughs> Doesn't do anything for movement speed, really. Nah. Yeah, wisdom saves. Yeah, okay. Whenever it's my turn, let me know. Okay. So, yeah, the guy just has what looks like a film around his body as he's looking up at, uh, that guy. He swings again, and this time when he hits, you just see the scythe stick right on that sheen. And he turns it again to do it again and again, each time just slamming onto it and not breaking his skin. He's also completely unable to do anything. Oh, that guy? He hasn't moved. He hasn't done anything. He is just looking over at the uh, Endorian. He like he moves his body and all that. It's not like it's doing anything. The Endorian though is confused as all hell. And now I'll take what I want by force. The Endorian gets attack of opportunity, and when he swings once again, it collides, and it doesn't do anything. When is it Oscar's turn? It is now your turn. Okay. Uh, my Veil Crown Sigil goes off. Does he succeed? He did roll? succeed. Okay. Um. Yep. Like he immediately succeeded? I rolled. Because it's it was the same save as what the uh, Endorian does to that, notice it. Does that hit? That does hit. You just see the bullet shatter on that film. Okay, well, I'm gonna do it again. Does that hit? Yep. That's I only good. get two shots. I only get two shots with that, right? I don't get yeah. a third attack. No, you only get your two attacks with it. As you okay. see the bullet shatter on that film. But did it look like it hurt him? It did not. Oh. 
Fra, do you think we can do any damage to him? He used to spell. We won't do anything. Actually. Invulnerable. Oh fuck, he's got globe of invulnerability. No, globe is only an 8th level. Alright, I'm gonna move there. Oh, and that's my 20 feet of movement. <laughs> <laughs> He's just using invulnerability, okay. 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 Only you heard that, Rick, so... Um, it'll come back to <laughs> Rick's okay. turn. Alright, after you're done, Rick's turn. Alright. Oh, wait. Gotta go to my sheet. <sighs> oh my god, actually, can I use a bonus action? For what? I want to switch my bullets in my rifle. Okay. Yeah, you can okay. use a bonus action. Go ahead and swap out. Normally, it takes a main action, but you're all right. Okay. Okay. Cool. How many bullets can I swap out? I have a I have a twelve round chamber. Let's do three. I can do three. So do the three go in first? Like I can get three in the the front of the order, or you got three on top of the uh, traditional. Okay. So I do the three new bullets first. Cool. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. All right. I'm going to move uh, 40 to try and get on to land here. I It'll do be my... your uh, movement is halved in water. All right. Well, I can still get to here because I have 40 movement. Yeah, that's fine. And while I'm clinging onto the rocks, because I do have spider climb, I can get up there, but uh, I'm going to attempt to use uh, intimidation to break his concentration. Okay. Does not work. Alright. Uh, Vandal, it'll be your turn. Take 20 radiant damage. Nothing was even cast. You're in water. It's not like... It's moving water. Heavy water, though. It is. And it's any running water. If you're in it, you take 20 radiant. Or is it... Hold on. I think it's actually not radiant. I think it's uh, like poison or something. Let me look. I thought you had to be like a little higher in the water though. The water had to be higher, something like it's, that. It's acid. But is it all running water? I don't think it I don't think it was all running water. This is a river and it's moving down. You can even see the force of it all. You said it was like shin height or something. It's five feet. Um Okay. And you can only, like, even if it was shin height, you still take the damage. It's pretty bad. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I didn't take any damage. Nope. No, you didn't. I said, how come I didn't? Because you're not, you don't take damage. It's not the water that's causing it. Yeah, I thought it was, uh, uh the king there. Well, then I'm gonna dash back. You feel like the acid burned your skin. <laughs> and you see him kind of laugh at the moment. A little painful. Violence winch. <laughs> oh, um. my God. <clears throat> we'll oh, wait, that was his reaction. He used his reaction to tell you a little painful. Ah, he taunted at you. It'll be fine. That's fine. It's 15. Um... It'll be his turn. Let me see something here. Wait, shouldn't it be the Endorian's turn before that? The Endorian's happened? swinging his fucking scythe at him each time. And it's just doing nothing. Yeah. I mean, it's... You could of... restrain him. <clears throat> um... If I recall correctly, I, I know it's technically out of character, but... The spell and vulnerability requires that you uh, you maintain concentration 
So uh, he can't actually attack the Andorian, but he can't cast anything else while he has it, if I recall correctly. He can cast spells that don't require concentration. Yeah. Like Dimension Door. As he literally appears right in front of Vandal. That's an action. <laughs> <laughs> not with Quicken Spell, it's not. Uh, go and roll Athletics or Acrobatics. He grabs onto your neck. End of turn. And Dorian fucking run. Run. He's grappling you. Whose turn is it? It is now Oscar's. It should be Rick, right? Rick's before me last No, round. Rick's the first. Yeah. Oh, so you've already gone? Yeah. So you're the last turn. Okay. Uh... Let's try it. I'm an A person. You can't. What? You already used it. No, I didn't. You did I had... when you were on the train. You used it on the in the uh, vampire guy, trying to stop him from going anywhere. Once per long rest. Fuck, then I am not going to do that. Um, pulling him. Totally forgot about that. Uh... Oh, I'll uh, place the kid as well. Ooh, I, mm, I probably kill you. Yeah, um, I guess I'll try that. Let's say that he needs to make strength. Yeah, strength. What is the save? 19. Okay, right. yeah. Both of them get pulled 15 feet. Okay. As he's still holding him. Then... As a bonus action, I am going to use my very last healing salve on Vandal. So you heal 11. Yeah, because he has stab you with the B. Yep. So. I just like the idea that uh, it went from the syringes to now the B is the healing thing. So he's just like physically holding the bee and he's stabbing people with it. No, it flew over to him. He's not within uh, distance. And... I really wish I could try to grapple him, but I can't because I used a main action and a bonus action. Uh, that's That's gotta be my turn. Rick? Totally forgot I dominated person. Damn it. Fuck it. I can get here to the kid, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna do that. And use my main action to take off any of the barbed wire that would have uh, killed him and uh, mm -hmm. any of the ropes around his neck. I'm still gonna leave him tied up. Anything that would have um, that would have cut him in half or whatever, because you said he was tangled up in barbed wire. Yeah. But he he's also tied up with rope, right? Uh, it's all barbed wire actually. Like it's digging into his skin, but you can slowly undo it. I'm gonna tell the boy, is he conscious? Con he conscious. seems a little bit out of it, much like uh, the people on the train were. I'm gonna tell him if he runs after I get him free, when I find him, I will hurt him. 
but I'm going to try and... Um, Kill me now, then. I'm going to try and get some of the... Uh, what do I need to roll to um, Slide start? Slide yeah, you start unraveling it. You can tell that he's not fighting it. He doesn't look like he wants to at this point. Can I... Uh, I don't have anything to tie him up with. Are you trying to tie up the kid? Uh, I was going to replace the barbed wire with actual rope. Yeah. Is he still covered in barbed wire? He's getting it off of him. I'm yeah. getting it off of him since I was already over here. Hmm. That's a uh, main action, right? Yeah. To do that, so I technically still have a bonus action. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I can do anything. Oh, oh. They should have both been knocked prone. Vandal and the witch. Can I also yeah, use the They're bonus both not prone. He's still holding on though, to him. Can I also use a bonus action to help with another Knocked prone, but he's still holding on? Yeah, he grabbed, like, he pulled you with him. Can I use my bonus action to get another slide, uh, another uh, attempt at getting some more of the barbed wire off? Uh, it would be a main action for it. Alright, so... Because you have to be not... very careful with it, because you don't want to injure him. You've been going prone, holding my neck, he still has concentration. Yeah. Um, I still have five feet of movement. Because he's not taking damage, so he doesn't lose concentration on it. Do I have the barbed wire off of most of the... Uh... Off of his wrists and his legs. Alright, so it's still around his neck? Yeah. Like the neck and body, which you'll get in the next one if you need. Alright, I'll end my turn then. Right. Vandal. I don't know what all I can do right now. Hmm. I suppose I will try to break out of the hold that he has on me. Okay. But that is pretty much all I could do. Right, go ahead and roll athletics. That's right. not. <laughs> oh, come on. I wasted the higher roll. <laughs> He's gripped onto your throw pretty tight. blow another lucky trying like can i blow my lucky uh i don't know if it's on you it just lucky? is uh fortune fate only a one on the target or is it can it be cast cast on anybody i cast it on oscar and it basically lets him uh it's oh, like it's he can only on Tell on self to choose to basically roll an additional d20. So. I can impart luck to myself or one willing creature. You, that's what he did to you. <sighs> Fuck, I can't give it to fucking Vandal though. And I believe Lucky only has 60 foot range, is that it? Uh, Attack roll, man. That's the casting range. Yeah, you wouldn't Shit. be able to uh, change his roll. Alright, that's fine. Like yeah, I was it's checking it. Be... Yeah, it's only it's only when it's something that deals directly with Oscar, exactly. Well, I was also talking about Rick's Lucky, too. Shit, I gotta pop those off before. Man, 
people are rewriting on you. I don't know what else I can do. I can't really do anything else. I can't do damage though, and I can't break free, so. I don't know, throw dirt in his eye. <laughs> Try and distract him. Like. I'm held up in the air, I think. No, no you're, you're both on the ground. But he is still holding your, like, throat. Technically, he'd be, like, over top you holding on to your throat right now. So. It's your pet's well pet then. trying um, to find a way to break his constant. And you just tried to knock him off of you, but he forced you back down. <laughs> I am going to take the necklace and I am going to swallow it. What's the size of that necklace? I don't even care. <laughs> um. Hmm. It's desperate so... times, desperate measures. I am swallowing it's... <laughs> that hoe. It's He's like. Stick his hand into you. <laughs> No. Alright, Vandal doesn't have a gag reflex, we're good. <laughs> Damn, Brittany. No, technically you got channeled to level 4 and then down, so currently you still have the weaknesses of it until a long rest is done. That's what I was saying, like, the frenzy is. But that thing is about the size of, a, let's say, a top of a can of soda. You know, the little, like, metal rim? It's about that. Yeah, I'm swallowing it as best as I can. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and roll a con save. Like I said, I got no gag reflex, I'm good. <laughs> Oh god damn it. Wow. Oh, wow. You you might not have a gag reflex, but you gagged on that. Yeah. It was just too big as you're literally forcing it down your throat. He watches as you just cough it back up. You know, I wanna I want there to be a little bit of puke too. I want him to oh, there really, is. There really is. rethink rethink his life about taking this. No, there definitely is, because that's you vomiting. And then I'm just gonna keep trying it. <laughs> Alright, do it again. Another concert. Using the rest of my fucking movement. <laughs> you don't throw up. As you are forcing it down, there's like a lump in your throat. It's honestly making you kind of choke, so... <laughs> As you get it down. Come on, make the sound. Quit and do so... it. You won't. All right. I don't even know if it picked those up. But if it did, awesome. It didn't, it didn't. But anyway, that'll be your oh, turn. <laughs> <laughs> the Andorian runs over, starts. Uh, he actually grabs onto the sides of his head. The scythe like, gets stabbed to the ground as he does that. And you just see his eye go wide. And his body turns this incredible purple hue, just like the Andorian. As you see him close his eye and, like, grip his hands together. Like, the one that's still on Vandal Star, he grips harder. And let's see if he makes the save. Wow. Just wow. He got a natural time. Alright. Ah, uh, you just see his eye go back to normal. I can. I can make a, um, before the results are made. I can make my enemies re-roll anything that does a d20. <laughs> but I just said the result. No, no, no. You said you said he got a. You nat didn't finish. 20. You didn't finish saying he. I said he got a nat twenty. That's, literally, that's nat literally it. You said he rolled a nat twenty. Yeah, he that's literally. And I started describing what was happening. No, 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 but you no, no, no. 
by it, but you didn't finish, therefore the result wasn't determined. So it's already determined. Fuck you. <laughs> it's not oh, determined yet. It isn't finished. I literally started describing it. I don't want to hear it. I can re-roll it. It's a lucky. I'm lucky. You got a 26 altogether. I he succeeds. Really, I didn't really care to begin with. That's... But there's your lucky. Get it the fuck out. Oh. You, have, you have one left. All right. So, at this point, you just see him, once again, grip down on Vandal's throat. And he's holding the fucking thing there, because you can't swallow with his hand around it. So, you're literally just forced to choke at this point. Um, hey, if he's still sorry. choking me, that's fine. Sorry. Choke me like you hate. <laughs> oh my god. Choke me harder, son. As you see his hand raise up, he just pulls out a dagger, and he looks like he's ready to stab you. You have like 400 turns before you die from a lack of um, Does an 18 hit? That depends very much whether he actually wants to attack me. He does. What is the dagger? Then, yeah. 18 hits. Okay. Well... Well, 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 well. Oh, well, well. Uh, I'll use a grip point. No, it doesn't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so first, you weave your head out of the way, and he will swing one more time. Twenty-two definitely hits. Does your no, gun... I cast a shield. You don't even have shield. <laughs> <laughs> Ten damage as he stabs into like your shoulder. And that'll be his turn. Comes to Oscar's turn. What you doing, Oscar? Oscar? Yep, that hits. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I said I'm switch. I'm bonus action to switch to my mace because I have to use a bonus yep. action, and I'm swinging for defenses. That hits. Yep. As it slams into him, you see it just crackle off of him. Okay. And once again, that hits. Once again, crackling off of him, just these loud booms of thunder. Doesn't seem to affect him any. Mm -hmm. Not at all. At all. Craw, is there anything you can do to uh, remove mm, that? Not shit. me. So I can't. I can't try to like remove his grapple, can I? Uh, you used your two attacks, so no. I have it counts a third as... attack with the mace, so can I swing my mace at his arm that's holding Vandal? Uh, it wouldn't deal damage from what you've gathered. So there's really nothing else I can do. Um... I guess what he's asking is, would it be able to move his hand, not do the damage, but to move it? <laughs> he can attempt to use an athletics for that, yes. So I can do that. Athletics. It's not slamming your mace against no, 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 it because the I mace won't do anything. A, I, can, I can make an athletic roll. Yes, to try and go against him. Okay. So, you end up pulling his arm away. You are no longer a grappled Vando. As you see him looking back at you, you're making a mistake. But I'll let you find that out. It'll be Rick's turn now. After yours, uh, are you done? Yeah, that's about it. Okay. Rick? Alright, I'm gonna finish up what I'm doing with the unraveling of the... Uh... Alright. Yep, he just gets it, you get it all off. And then I'm gonna... 15... 
It's going to take me like three turns to get back all the way over there. I'm going to do ten here, and then uh, I can move ten more feet, so I'll be here. Oops. That's the, oh, wait, I can dash. No, I can't. You use your action to unravel yes, them. I, I realize that. That'll be it. That'll be my turn. Alright. Oh, I have 15 temporary health. Middle. Actually. I also have temporary health. Alright. And... 15, 20, 20, 30. Alright, Vandal. Why is he still running away? <laughs> he literally sees in two demons person that went on a blood frenzy, the guy who kidnapped him, and, and a preacher. <laughs> he just gets bad vibes from the preacher, that's why he's running. <laughs> yeah, but he's also got a guy who summoned one of the demons. Help him out. Still. Obviously, good guys. I don't know what he's talking about. So, knowing that if I leave his area, he's going to attack and kill me, and this time it will kill me, <clears throat> I'm going to do the only thing a sane person would do. It's going down, damn it. <laughs> you, you swallow it. <laughs> okay, it is completely swallowed at this point. Yeah. Alright, now. Sand attack! <laughs> oh my lord. So that was your main action to gurgle that bitch down, so... You, know, you would have to use a grip point for the quote-unquote extra shot, which would be the sand. His accuracy is getting lowered. Alright, fine. I'll roll to, I don't know, grab his other arm. <laughs> Just got free reaches to uh, grapple with him again. Yeah, uh, the necklace is in my stomach now. He can't do nothing. Right. Yeah, you get him. And he's just complete. <laughs> Is Claudius and Hendrix still alive over there? Yep, still here. Just Claudius. Do we? Yeah. Are you switching back over to us? I will so be I in a second. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So you have the hold of his arm. If I have a reaction, I'm going to tell the Dorian to grab his legs and let's drag him back to the train like this. Are we going back to the train? The Dorian. I use my second reaction. Silence. <laughs> <wench>. Second reaction. <laughs> oh my god. Right. No, no, that's your reaction. So you use your bonus action to tell him. <laughs> so who's that's turn true. Is it now? That's true. It's the Endorians. As he grabs onto his legs, you just see him look at all of you. A lot easier then. Uh, his turn starts. His body disappears. Damn it, Vandal. What? Can they still feel him? Not anywhere close. Hey, guys. On the train. Back to the train. You just well, see... Well, you're the champion, though, so you're probably fine. The okay. Dorian couldn't do anything to stop him. That was just because of the spell. Where did his token go? The spell that he still got on him, you mean? Yeah, the one they still got on him. Uh, so, this all was happening less than a minute, Claudius. What did you do in that minute that uh, Hendrik did that? Just honestly, he just kind of stared in awe. Yeah, so Hendrik, your arm is still burning with that uh, Endorian power, and you, it's still stuck like that. It's not going back. In that case... <sighs> this... Hendrik's just gonna wrap up the Endorian wheel in this minute, and it's like, he's gonna put it, he's gonna put it, like, basically tie it up and put it back on his back again. And just, like, 
walk over to the table and he's going to just like copy the back. Claudius. Yes. What do you think about the as your mid talk, you see him grab onto you. Um and he uses his other hand as you see magic coursing through it. Uh, can I use a reaction to immediately try to shove him away? He technically has the surprise around, because you never would have assumed that he would have came to you. Um, I still have one grip point! Oh, have, so, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I spit, yeah, I'm not going to be surprised, so... <laughs> go Athletics! Please don't fail me now. Oh my god! Oh. Yeah, he literally just pushes you back down. All of that pain comes back through your chest. Can I lo can I use a psionic talent die to do a protective field around him? It won't do anything. It just increases AC. And lessens damage. Me. It lessens damage. Yeah, there's no damage being dealt here. Okay. So. The gate from Constitution saving throw, and then it's like, guess not. Uh, that would have been great. Did I regain any grip points? Uh, it's short rest, right? Oh, I think wait, no, then I have more grip points then. Huh? If it comes off a of short rest, then I have more grip points. So I I still have five. Then. Uh oh. Well, I'm pushed on my back right now, apparently. Yes. Now he will use. So, so did I Hold regain on. grip points? Yes, I said you did. How many? All of them. You had a short rest. Okay. As you see him force what looks to be magic into the wheel himself, and you also see his arm turn into that color. Wait, baby, is he like punched? Like it's on my back right now, and I'm yeah. lying on. He's my coursing back. it through you because you still have your body, like pretty much a conduit for it. And it is forcing itself through you into that. Can I do a targeted shot on his arm? It's not your turn. Do okay. Um. <sighs> Let's see here. Let's see. Can I do something before he finishes doing that? Yeah. Okay. Well, um. This this is going to hurt. Um. Because he won't be able to grab me if this is successful, but, uh, well, I guess there goes this, this train is good. This train card's gonna hurt, so, uh. Wait, 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 wait. You don't have an action. Oh. Okay. No, because this is still, it would be his turn first. And that's what we're on. Okay, well, uh. Oh, okay. I need everyone. Everyone. To make a, a charisma saving throw at disadvantage. Okay, give me one second. I'm coming back to my kitchen. Um, I'm coming back to my. Me and my kitchen is going strong. Fail, fail. I'm back, by the way. Okay, then make charisma save at disadvantage. Me? Yep. Alright. Okay, so I roll at disadvantage. If I don't get a good roll, can I use fortune's favor to roll yes. again? Yes, yes you can. Okay. Okay, so I roll a what save? Charisma save at disadvantage. Um, is that on the saving throw or the side? Saving throw. Saving throw, charisma. There you go. Disadvantage. Actually, that's pretty good. You will All fail right. that, Oscar, if you don't want to. I will. Okay, then I want to re-roll. Okay, go ahead. At disadvantage again? Yep. Wow. So, the Enduring Wheel shatters, as you all see what looks to be a very strange visage that you only heard, heard about. Okay. Since Hendrix's lying on his back, has are those like scattered about to the train cart, 
Or is it just like no. scattered within the it, within the It is completely destroyed. As you all, every one of you, I'm gonna move all of you back. See Boroboros' body slowly form. And all you see is what looks to be Cosmos laid out in front of you. All of it looking to be wrapped in by this web. And as he, you see him reach out, he grabs onto your own and pulls. As it happens, all the celestial bodies collide together and all of your visions go dark. Mine included? Every single one. Like is everyone on the train affected by this too? Yeah. I rolled a 26. Yeah, you did. Now. We're going to go on a break. I'm going to end the stream, restart in a second.